Morning everybody, it's the Fragrant Jock here with another honest opinion in a very windy Sunday morning in Glasgow. I'm sure there's a lot of strong winds everywhere in Britain at the moment. Anyway, today's honest opinion is one that I've been waiting almost a month for. Um, although I paid for first class shipping, I know things are delayed in the post, but I think a lot of people are using this as an excuse. The post hasn't stopped. Uh, but the US Postal Service is a nightmare. It really is a nightmare. And I'm glad when I emailed to see where it was, they've changed it. They're using somebody else. I mean, a month is just shocking. I ordered something else for the States and it came within two weeks. That's usual. That's the usual kind of time you're looking for. And that's acceptable. But not nearly a month. Anyway, today's honest opinion is on this. It's in counter sense. Seduction for him. There's a bottle. There's a box. It's one of it's a it's doers. It's a doer brand that do this. There it's there. The doerbrand.com. This is another kind of line that they're doing. Um, I believe there's five of them. There's in the club. There's compliment for him. There's confidence for him, and there's romantic for him. And there's this one, Seduction for Him. This was the one that I, I looked at and I looked at the notes and I thought, you know what? I'm going to go with this because it looks, you know, the notes alone and everything. Um, this was right up my street and it kind of, with the notes, I'll tell you some of the notes now. Melon, there's lemon, tonka, cardamom, cinnamon, pepper, cedar, chestnut, amberwood and white musk. It was kind of borderline, well I thought anyway it would be borderline kind of going on, so that's right up my street. This is a box, there's nothing really, it's just like a, like a sleeve that comes out. Um, just get the gold stamp there, the do a brand, encountersense.com, that on the side there, nothing there, and nothing there. Uh, that's what you get. The bottle itself, it's a quite a flimsy, light plastic wooden top. Well, wood there, but plastic inside. It's very light. The atomizer, I can't complain about. The atomizer is really, it's a good spray. It's a really good spray. Um, it's quite, quite wide and, and good. The bottle, well, it's a plain paper sticker, uh, with just a usual kind of standard bottle. I mean, I paid $84 for this, plus, I can't remember, I think it was 25 or 20 odd dollars for shipping, but you, at the time, I think the 30% discount was going. So I ended up paying about £72 for this. That was everything included. Um, now, this, what they say about this, you're in the heat of the, the, the moment, and the temperature is rising. Seduction for him is the ultimate indulgence and temptation. As, I'm going to be as honest as I possibly can here. For me, definitely. I, I mean, I like some of doers, and I've had some of doers, and I've sold quite a few doers, and some of them are really nice. But they're hyped. They're well hyped. And people are getting something out of this, you can tell. They're well hyped. Um, and for the money you pay, you don't get an awful lot. You, you, I mean, okay, this is 100 ml, but consider this. This was £72. And they, they say it's, you know... And I've got it in my hand now. It's the spitting image of Jean-Paul Gaultier, Lamal. There's not, it's nice, it is nice, but there's nothing seductive about it, nothing. Where on the other hand, this, Prada, Lom Intense, this was 60 odd pounds, 65 pounds for 100 mLs in a gift set. Now this is seductive, so if you compare it with something like that, and the quality of this compared to that, it's height. They're, they're definitely hyped. The encounter sense are hyped. There's, maybe I picked the wrong one, maybe there's better. But this is hyped. It's definitely hyped. Be careful with doer. 
I'm not saying they're a dishonest company. They're just trying to make a business and make a profit. But some of their sense, yeah, things like Casino Alexia and things like that, they're lovely sense. But for 30 mLs for like, you know, by the time you get it over here, nearly £70, it's just, it's extortionate for what you're getting. You really, you know, you could, you could go out and buy um, Zara's Night Pour Home 5 and buy a decant of Aventus and you've got a Kalina, Casina Alexia there. You just, you just layer them. So you've got to be really careful. I think do her height. I really do and I think there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff going on with certain reviewers that are getting something out of it. Definitely, but this to me is definitely hype. As I say, it's not a bad fragrance. It's not bad, but it's mediocre. It's no better than I would say, well, Invictus or something like that, and you're paying £72. It's not even as good as Invictus. But this to me, now this is seduction in a bottle, whereas... I got it a lot, a wee bit cheaper in a gift set than this. So be very careful. As I say, I had to try it. You have to try some. You just can't comment on things if you're not going to try them. But for me, it's nothing special. It's meant, meant to be an extract as well. And I, I would say I get at least two hours mile projection out of it. And it lasted for about no more than five hours. So for an extract, that's pretty shocking. Um, but as I say, I've got it now. I, I don't know whether I'll use it. I'll probably end up giving it away in decants and maybe selling it. I don't know. Maybe use it now and again. It's too, it's too light in my Lamal. And I prefer Lamal. Uh, my original Lamal or my... Even the, the, the new one, the La Perfume Lamal. It's far superior to this. And you can get it cheaper. I think it was 125mls, I got it for some lits, well, I think it was slightly dearer, I think it was about 70, £71, well it was around about the same price, so I'd rather have the little mall than this. I was really, I was very disappointed after waiting all that time, and this is what I got. So, as I say, some of doers are really good, you know, some of their clones inspired expressions in the 30ml bottles are really good. I know they're doing a new line, a hundred ml bottles, a Casino Alexia and things like that, but a hundred and seventy five dollars, and by the time even with a thirty percent discount, that's just too much. The profit they must be making is extortionate. It really is. It's just far too much. They need to lower their prices and and do something about the shipping thing or sell it over here. But as I say, just be careful. It's a hit or a miss for me. We do. And, and and I'm not just rubbishing them. Um, you know, there's there's a hit and a miss with Alexandria. There's a hit and a miss with a lot of companies, but at this kind of price and the notes and things like that, I was really disappointed with it. Really. Anyway, just a quick honest opinion. As I say, some of those are really good. As I say, Casino Alexia and things like that. Um, what other one did I have? Scrumptious, really really lovely fragrance that I would never be able to afford if it was a Roja. Or Hawks Lux, things like that. Really lovely fragrances. But they're overpriced uh, for what you get. I definitely think that. Anyway, just a quick honest opinion. Uh, I hope everybody has a good day. And bye for now.